you don't bet on ideas or institutions, you bet on people. And Houston is exactly the kind of person that you would want to bet on. In everything he works on, he makes a positive impact. I've seen it in Student Athlete Advisory Council, I've seen it in the Leadership Academy, I've seen it on the team, I've seen it even in friendships. So it's always struck me about him is that he's a hugely uniting figure. Um, I think he's really well acquainted with a lot of different ideas and sectors from the student body and that I think he can be a hugely uniting force for us. He is someone who is willing to take the time out and make a difference in something like male minority retention. And even though he might not necessarily himself be a minority, he's someone who is able to understand and to empathize with various different people. He is someone who takes the time and cares about graduate students. One of the only candidates that I've ever seen who's taken a very strong, supportive, and positive platform on Greek life. You know, I am a member of the Greek community and an active member uh, of one of the fraternities here on campus. And I'm really excited to see Houston's strong stance, but also one that's supportive and positive and constructive. And looks to willingly work with the Greek population in order to say, look, there is a problem here and we're going to do our best to work with everyone, every single party, and have a bipartisan movement to figuring out the solution. It's very difficult for us to understand like, really how the majority of the student body feels about a particular issue. Um, but with Houston's uh, policies to improve internal and external communication and really understand the student body's pulse, I think we're going to go a long way into convincing administrators what the student body of Carolina really thinks on important issues. He has been a professional athlete. He walked on to our track and field team. He's an honor student. Um, and he's, this year, he was in the process of creating his own a class that will be facilitated by our chancellor. And he has really great ideas about the, like the summer bridge program for athletes. And he in particular realizes that Carolina is made up, made up, made up of a very diverse um, student body. Some students here can only come to school part time. Some students here are parents. Some students here are married. Houston's platform chooses to recognize this. With the Weinstein report and everything that's what's happened with the um, athletic scandals, and I think it has like showed us a lot of other underlying issues at this university. And I think he's the right person to address these. And he does look at he's looking at all these issues from more than one angle. And one of the most impressive things about Houston is that. Uh, no matter who it is or what the situation is, he continues to believe in people. He picks out things that uh, he sees in them and he'll work with them, he'll coach them, he'll train them, um, he'll be patient with them, and he'll do whatever he can to bring that out. Houston Summers chose Carolina for all the same reasons you and I did, and even more. Even though he's already had a successful career, he chose to come to Carolina. He chose to pursue his academics. Houston Summers chose Carolina. I am choosing Houston Summers because I believe every student at UNC should have the opportunity and resources to succeed. Houston Summers chose UNC, and I'm choosing Houston Summers because he's exactly the kind of person I'd want to bet on. Houston Summers chose Carolina, and I choose Houston Summers because he's empowering the student voice. Houston Summers chose Carolina. Will you stand with me and choose Houston Summers for student body president? I'm Houston Summers and I'm running for student body president. Join me in choosing one Carolina. Hey! Boom! Oh. <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs>